This is Dr. Nikki, and we're going to talk about Bears in a Cave. Bears in a Cave's Cave is one of the best games ever. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to play it, but this is one. This is the easiest. So there's these little counters. There's these little bears. They're paper bears. And this is the cave. I just cut it out of brown construction paper. And the way that it works is, say, it's about composing and decomposing numbers. It's also about missing number. It depends on the grade what you'll emphasize. So I could say to the kindergartners, oh, there were five bears. And then some decided to go in the cave. Close your eyes. And then they close their eyes. And then I stick some under the cave. And I say, who can tell me, open your eyes, who can tell me how many bears went in the cave? There were five, and now there's only three. How many bears went in the cave? If there's only three. And then the kids, they have to figure out how many went in the cave. And then they say how many they think went in the cave. And then we open up the cave and they can say, oh, there's two. And then you want to be sure to emphasize three and two make five. So there were two in the cave. Three and two make five. And two and three make five. Two in the cave, three outside. Three outside, two in the cave. This is bears in the cave. This is so, so great. And then in first grade, you really want to start emphasizing missing number. So you might start with, you tell the partner, close your eyes. We know that there were five bears. But now you're going to want to write that as an equation, right? So you would write five is the same as three plus how many are in the cave, right? So you would want to write that equation and then have the kids figure out three plus. And notice I wrote it as a um, an equation with the sum first, because you want to show, it's a, it's a non-routine equation. You want to show lots of ways to write it. You could also write it as three plus what equals five, because we know the total. We know there's five, but something's missing, and we have to try to figure out what is missing. And doing it in a story context really, really helps students. So that's Bears in the Cave.